Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Very warm conditions out there this evening. Skies are clear. We're getting kind of used to this, but it's getting ridiculous, especially with these temperatures as we hit the weekend. Let's start out in Colleen right now, looking pretty quiet. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It's on the rooftop of one Colleen Center, looking pretty good. As we check out our 100 degree day counter, well, we hit 103 today. So we Flip it to uh, 23 days. We've had 23 days this year so far of at least 100 degree heat or hotter. Back in 2011, again, we always go back to 2011. It's, a, it's kind of a benchmark. It was so hot that year. 25 days uh, at this time. So you can see very close to... Uh, 2011. There's our excessive heat a warning that is in effect, and it goes through Sunday evening, Sunday through 9 o'clock. All areas kind of in that fuchsia color. We are looking at either temperatures or the heat index values ranging from 106 degrees to as hot as 112. This is dangerous heat. You need to take precautions. You need to stay hydrated. If you work outside, take many breaks. Try to get in the air conditioning if you can. Uh, wear something light out there. You don't want to wear dark colors. Dark colors absorb the heat. But very dangerous heat expected here over the next four or five days. Where we are not under the excessive heat warning, we are under a heat advisory. It's going to be just as hot over in uh, just southwest of Waco, Temple, and Colleen, and then down toward the Brazos Valley. Uh, temperatures, and again, our heat index numbers ranging from 105 to as hot as 110 degrees. We've got 93 degrees right now in Waco, 92 Temple, 93 in Colleen, also 93 degrees in Gatesville. Look at Comanche, current temperature at 97 degrees. And our heat index, thank goodness, is the same, but it feels like 94 in Colleen, still 100 degrees down in College Station. The current heat index in the Caldwell area right at 97 degrees. Not much going on with our satellite or radar. There's a little front to our northwest, basically a stationary front, and we migrate here over the next 36 to 48 hours, but it's not going to move through, and it's actually going to make it a little bit worse than uh, what we're seeing out there right now, and I'll explain in just a minute. Our upper-level winds, nothing to change, nothing to tell you about. That big thermal ridge on top of us, that high, everything's up and around, and with high pressure, you have sinking air, subsidence. It's, it's sinking, and it's hard to get any clouds going when you have sinking air. You need rising air for clouds. Well, we have sinking air, and that's why we can't even really buy any clouds to protect us uh, during the day as well. So overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, temperatures falling into the upper 70s and lower 80s, maybe a few clouds down in the Brazos Valley. By lunchtime, mid to upper 90s, and by the afternoon, voila, we're going to be in the low 100s. Uh, you factor in any humidity out there, we're talking now, you know, our heat index 105, 106, 107 from time to time in different places. By late Friday into early Saturday, mainly clear skies, temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s to start the weekend. And then as we go throughout the day on Saturday, temperatures are going to soar. That's because of that front. And what happens when a front gets close enough to the area, it's called compressional heating. It forces the air out ahead of it to warm up rapidly. And of course, where are we going to be? We're going to be out ahead of it. And that's why I think temperatures may jump into the 106, maybe as hot as 107 in some spots. So once again, an excessive heat warning in effect for Saturday with, again, some very, very brutal temperatures expected over the weekend. Tonight, mostly clear. We dropped to 80 degrees. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. There's that excessive heat warning continuing. 104 for the high, but we could see easily our heat index 106, 107 from time to time. The long range 10 day forecast. 106 on Saturday, 107 on Sunday, 106 on Monday, and there's that heat index that I expect values between 106 and 112, and really, our rain chances are just real pathetic next week. They're just a 20% on Wednesday, 20% on Thursday, nothing major. You're going to have to keep watering if you want to keep the, the plants alive, the flowers, you know, the grass. You can do the best you can, right? Uh, nighttime lows only falling into the upper 70s to lower 80s, and then down toward Bryan and College Station, we're going to be just as Hot. The temperatures may be a tad cooler, Adam, but the humidity will get you. So it's still going to feel pretty bad and uh, not good Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Temperatures next week still around 100 degrees and those lows upper 70s to lower 80s.